everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and spiritual insights for Monday the 27th of September through till Sunday the 3rd of October 2021. We have moved in or shifted into the season of Libra. And Libra is considered to be a cardinal sign. So the energy of Libra gives us the opening, the opportunity to step up as a leader. It's really about leadership. And so with that in mind, you know, how are you showing up in your life? How are you role modeling to those around you? Are you leading by example or where in your life can you lead by example? Where in your life can you lead by being the example of the change you wish to see in the world? It's also a, a time to review what changes you would like to make in your life. You know, what is working for you and what's not working for you? What what habits or behaviors or thought patterns are not working for you or are working for you. Perhaps there are particular people around you that when you're in your in their presence, my beautiful Andara crystals that I'm holding in my hand, where I'll keep them there apparently. <laughs> they do have a personality. So when you're in the presence of others, you know, how are you managing your energy field? How are you managing how you respond? Because this is a time to be proactive, not reactive. Libra also represents or is represented by the scales. So there is this invitation under the influence of Libra to go within and review and assess on a deeper level to recognize that you are a part of life as much as life is a part of you. We are not separate from life. We're not separate from each other. We're not separate from source. Every single human being on the planet is connected energetically to each other. The greatest illusion of living the human experience is the belief that we are separate, that we are separate from mother nature, that we are separate from source, that we are separate from each other, that we're separate from our soul, that it's this thing, this essence that's outside of us. It's not outside of you, it's inside of you. You are it. The scales also represent the need to have balance in your life. So where in your life can you bring more balance in? Where are you exerting or where is the expenditure of your energy? You know, to the time that you give, the resources that you give, the energy that you give to others. Is that in balance to what you're receiving? Are you always giving, 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 yet never allowing yourself to receive? And that could be as simple as how easily do you accept a compliment when it's given to you? Do you say thank you or do you brush it off or do you make a joke or do you deflect it? I've often said to my clients that when somebody is offering to help you, when somebody is offering to pay you for your services, when somebody is offering to give you something in return for your time and energy and you you reject that offering, if somebody's wanting to give you love, if they're wanting to give you a compliment, if they're genuinely wanting to give back to you what you give to them and you reject that, no, 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 I don't need that. That's not why I did that. No, I don't need that. You don't need to do that. The way I see it is we are all energy. Everything that we do is an exchange of energy. And it's an opportunity to be in relationship or harmony with another human being. 
And so when you reject that, that is a rejection they feel on a soul heart level because it's coming from their place, their, their heart of genuineness to offer that to you. Same as your offering is from your heart space. And so that's a rejection to them. But it also indicates your ability to be open to receive the offerings of the universe, the love of the universe, the abundance of the universe. So really take some time this week to ask yourself, where am I not in balance in my life? How can I create more balance in my life? Because the scales also represent that balance of the inner and outer world on so many levels. What are you allowing yourself to receive? Or are you in a position where you're often receiving yet feel blocked in giving in return? And under the influence of Mercury in retrograde right now in the sign of Libra, Mercury is really working on the deep subconscious mind, the deep levels of our subconscious mind, the deep levels of our heart. And so throughout the season, this time of Libra, this month of Libra, there may be opportunities for you to review what's happened in the past, but review that through the eyes of love. What can I learn from this? What did this teach me? Because sometimes in order to create the balance that we need in our lives, we need to make some hard choices and hard decisions and move beyond the fear. And so Libra also asks us to review our relationships, how the relationship you have with yourself and the relationship that you have with others. Are they in harmony? What A Course in Miracles has taught me is that every single person that we come in contact with or every person that we have a relationship with is a gift from the divine, the, a gift from our higher self, a gift from source to meet that person and they will be either your student or your teacher. So in each relationship, are you the student or the teacher? And can you become the teacher or the student? Because it is this beautiful coming together of two human beings, two souls, in order for there to be a union, a union of two beautiful souls coming together. It is an opportunity for growth it is an opportunity for expansion and learning. So ask yourself, what is this person here to teach me? What are they teaching me? Because we don't know everything. The universe sends beautiful angels in human form to support us on our soul's pathway, on our soul's blueprinted plan in order for us to achieve what we came here to do. And if you've moved out of alignment of your soul's pathway, then the universe will send you an angel to either shake you up, challenge you, test you. And it's not like a test of in that sense. It's a test of how are you going to respond in that situation? How are you going to show up in that situation? The discord that we are seeing in the universe right now, the discord we're seeing on the planet is an indication of the internal conflict and discord that we are experiencing inside of ourselves because we are the co-creators of this world we've created this so if you'd like to take a nice deep breath and place your hand on your heart and closing your eyes for theta downloads. I understand the definition of balance through the creator of all that is from the seventh plane. I understand what it feels like to be balanced. I know how to be balanced. I know how to live my daily life in balance. I know the perspective of balance through the creator of all that is. 
I know it is possible to be balanced. I am do balance my life. I know what it feels like to receive. I know what it feels like to receive love. I know what it feels like to receive kindness. I know what it feels like to receive compassion. And I know what it feels like to receive the unconditional love of the universe. Say yes to receive now. Take a deep breath in. Okay. So, a message of guidance for the week ahead to support you. This is the one that fell out. How beautiful is this? When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. That is just so timely with the amount of fear and uncertainty that is surrounding so many of us at this time. You are being invited to tune into actively and intentionally make contact with your your expression, your relationship with the universe. For you, it may be God, it may be Jesus, it may be Goddess, it may be universe, source, angel, spirit, mother earth. Whatever it is that you feel most naturally drawn to or most comfortable with, whatever word, they're all words, they all mean the same thing, they all are the same thing because there is no separation. The universe is calling you to invite it into your heart, into your mind and into your soul. It is inviting you to thank you universe for releasing me of my fears and anxieties Thank you for allowing me to feel your presence in my life. Now this will show up in a way that's comfortable for you. For me, when I feel the incredible presence of the divine, mother, father, God, consciousness, Christ consciousness, higher consciousness, so many words for the one thing. When I connect and I feel its presence, I have this beautiful, cool energy that flows from the top of my crown chakra and all the way down into my body. And it literally moves all the way down to the ends of my fingertips, my toes. And I can feel it flowing through me right now. And when I feel that presence, when I trust in that presence, when I trust that I'm safe, I'm protected, that the universe has my back, that everything's going to be okay and have faith that everything is going to be okay. Have faith that the universe is listening to me, hearing me, loving me, supporting me. Then the way that I see the world is through the eyes and the lens of love and the universe. And this is what the universe is asking you to do this week. Choose love not fear. Choose certainty. That certainty can be that your beautiful guardian angels who have been assigned to you from the moment before, even before you came into this physical world, your guardian angels have been with you for a multitude of lifetimes. They are yours. They are there for you and only you. So invite them into your life. Do that through a meditation. Sit quietly. Do it as you're going to sleep at night. Thank you, my beautiful guardian angels, for revealing yourself to me in my dreamscape. Thank you, beautiful guardian angels, for revealing yourself to me in this meditation. 
Thank you for revealing yourself to me in my life. Because they're there to love and support and guide and protect you. That's what they're there for. You and only you. And so, yes, the universe always takes care of you. The universe is always streaming unconditional love to you. Endless, never ending, continuous, unconditional love into your heart, into your mind, into your soul, into your cells, into your DNA. And it does so, it does so, so that when you open your heart to receive it, when you open your eyes to see it, when you open your ears to hear it, the truth of that will flood every aspect of your life and every cell of your body. So I hope that that serves you well. There is so much love here for you all. You're not alone and you are not separate from the incredible, unconditional, loving energy, frequency of the divine, of the universe, of the light beings, of the star beings, whatever it is, they're there for you. Have a wonderful week. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. So much love. Take care. Bye.